Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Cricut pens in your Cricut machine, whether you're using the Maker, Explorer, or the Joy. I am going to be using Cricut Opaque pens today, which I'm very excited about, but you can go ahead and use any of Cricut's pens or markers. There are just so many to choose from. If you're new here, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest, and if you're not new, welcome back. Let's go jump onto Cricut Design Space. So here is a multi-layer hibiscus flower that I downloaded from Design Bundles. And if we look over at the layers panel, we can click on any of these layers. And if we were to go over to operation, you'd be able to tell that each layer is set as a basic cut. Meaning that if we were to press make it right now, our Cricut machine would cut out each of these layers. But I want this flower drawn out. I don't want it cut out. So what we need to do is change the operation of all of these layers. Now, if you look closely, our very bottom layer here is just one solid flower piece. And I actually wanna keep this as a cut layer, then have all these other layers drawn on top of this layer here. And because I am going to do this on black cardstock today, I'm going to change the color of the base of my hibiscus flower to black. Now, if you're not using opaque markers and you're using regular markers, it may be very difficult to see your design on black. So you may want to do it in white cardstock or another color altogether. Now you'll notice I have four different yellow layers here. So I'm going to select all four of them. So I'm going to click on the first layer here, press my shift key and select all four of those layers because I'm going to change them all to the same pen color, so I might as well do them all at the same time rather than one by one. Then I'm going to go up to Operation, and I'm going to go down to Pen, and then on this little color swatch square here, you're going to click that, and click on your drop-down menu, and we're going to click on Gel 1 millimeter because those are the pens I'm using. You may be using a different pen, so you can go ahead and select a different pen here. And then if I scroll all the way down to the bottom of the gel pens, you'll see the opaque markers right here. And I'm going to change this centerpiece to yellow, so I'm going to select that. Now, by selecting yellow here, this is just letting me see what the design is actually going to look like when I have my Cricut draw this out. If I were to select a different marker altogether, let's say I picked teal over here, I can see that it's teal here, but if I were to stick my yellow pen in my Cricut Maker, even though it says teal, it's going to be yellow, it's not going to be teal. So this is just going to give you a reminder of what pen needs to go into your machine when. So if you don't see the color that you have on the list, I know not all the pen colors are in our list here. You can click on one that's close to the pen color that you have, and you will remember what pen to put in your machine at the right time. So let's make this yellow again. Now let's select the next layer down here. I think I wanna make this layer white. So back up to operation, we need to change that to a pen. Click on the color swatch. We're going to go to gel pen, scroll to the bottom and select white. And then we have two more layers here. So let's click on the next one. Let's go ahead, turn this to a pen and then go down to gel pens. And then let's change our last layer as well. So pen, gel pen, and let's make this one pink. Now I've changed all the layers to a pen layer, except for our bottom layer, which is still a basic cut. Now, if I were to go and press make it right now on Mac, confirm, you'll notice that our pen layers here are all coloring on different pages, and then our cut layers here. But we don't want that, we want all our pens to be on this bottom layer. So we're going to click on cancel, and to fix that, all you have to do is select all your layers and then click on attach at the bottom. Now when we go to press make it, you'll see our flower is all on one mat. So our machine will draw out our flower and then it's going to cut around the outside of this flower. But before we go ahead and actually get our machine to do this job, I'm going to show you how you can make your own design. So let's press cancel. 
and we're going to put this design aside over here. So I'm going to hide this flower right now just by going over up at the top here and clicking on the eye. And now we have a blank screen to work with, but our flower is hidden. We can pull that back later. So let's go ahead and make our own gift tag using our pens. So first we need a base for our gift tag. So if you go to search images, you can type in tag. And if you don't have Cricut access, go ahead and click on that free button. So you only see the free files that are available. And then you can scroll down and choose one of these tags that you like. Let's go with this one right here and click add to canvas. It's rather small right now, so let's stretch this out and make it a little bigger. And if I go over to the layers panel, it looks like there's actually two layers. One is actually hidden right there. So let's get rid of that hidden green layer. I'm just going to click on delete. And we're just going to work with this one layer right here. So this is going to be our base cardstock layer, and then we're going to add a pen on top of this. And let's start off by making a little outline to go all the way around our gift tag. To do that, go up to offset and we're going to do an inverted offset. So instead of having our little dial to the right, we're going to move that towards the left and then click on apply. Now, as you can see, this is a cut layer and we need to turn that to a pen layer. So let's go up to operation choose pen and then we can choose what pen we want to use so let's do white and that kind of has a fun little design going on our gift tag now i'm probably going to be doing this gift tag in black so you could click on that gift tag and change the color of that as well so you know what it's going to look like but for now i'm going to keep it as gray and i'm going to show you why in a second so i want to type out happy easter on here so we've inserted some text and added Happy Easter. And if my background was black right now, it would be really hard to see my letters on top of it. So sometimes when you're working with a black background, I'll change the color to be a bit lighter just so you can see the letters and whatever else you're putting on top of it a little more clearly. So I'm going to change the font here. Let's go to system. I'll pick one that I have uploaded. Let's see here. Let's go with Balloon Bash. That looks like a fun Eastery font. And again, you'll notice our text is a cut file. So we need to change that to pen. So let's go ahead and change the color of this. Let's make it blue. So one thing you'll notice with our text here or any image that we change to the pen operation is the pen is going to outline that image so our letters may look a little hollow. So you can go ahead and fill that in freehand after your machine has cut it out. You can color between those, kind of like a coloring book. You can just leave it as is. I also have a few videos showing you how to fill in text using Cricut Design Space. And there's a few different ways to do that. So I will leave those videos linked down below in the description. But one thing you can do is use a thinner font and then our marker will almost be touching whenever the line goes over it and you won't be able to see the gaps in the letters. So if we were to change the font, let's do Baby Lexi. So this is a really thin font here. And now when I stretch this out and change this to the pen operation, let's go ahead and find our gel pens again. You'll notice there's nothing hollow in these letters just because the font we're using is really thin and you can do that as well. Instead of having a hollow font, just choose a thin font. Now let's make this a little more decorative and let's add an offset to Happy Easter. So let's go back up to offset and we are going to move the dial towards the right and kind of make our Happy Easter balloon a little here. You can see that darker blue line going around our text here, and so that will be our new pen line. And then click on Apply. Now that offset automatically made that layer a pen layer, but it's not the right pen, so let's go find our gel pen color, and I'm going to make that white as well. So I'm not liking the little pen line between the E and the A here, so what you can do about that is select that offset layer, and then we can go down to contour. And all you have to do is click on that little pen layer there. We're going to click on this one as well. 
and then we can click on the X and those little pen lines are now gone. I'm thinking some Easter eggs on here would look really cute. So let's go over to images and type in Easter eggs. Now Design Space has a number of free Easter eggs right here. So go ahead and pick your favorites. I'm going to select three different ones. So we'll do this one, this one, and this one over here and click on add to canvas. Now here are our three eggs, but once again, they are set to basic cut. So let's change those all to pen. And then you can go ahead and resize them and place them where you want them to go. And I don't think I want them all to be pink, so let's change the colors. All right, and to get a better idea of what this is going to look like, let's make the background of this tag black. So I go and click on that layer. Let's make this black. And now those colors are really going to stand out and pop. Now, just like before, before we go and make it, we have to select all our layers here and click on attach. And let's bring back that other flower that we made. So some things that you can do with this flower here, you can add it to a card, you can make bookmarks, you can make gift tags, you can draw on labels of pens. There's just so many different things you can do with the Cricut pens and markers. Now I find this to be a very large gift tag. Maybe you want a large gift tag, maybe you don't, but I'm just going to shrink it down just a little bit here. And I'm going to keep this flower nice and big. It's about five by five. So let's go ahead and click on make it. We are going to be doing this on the mat. Click on confirm and everything looks good on this page. We're going to press continue. I'm going to set my base material as medium cardstock. And then after we put our cardstock on our mat, we're going to load our machine here with the pink opaque marker. So let's load our mat and get started. You'll notice with some cardstock that you get that there's a textured side on one side and the other side is a little smoother. Now this will totally depend on the type of cardstock that you're using. However, I find the gel pens that work a lot better on the smoother side rather than the textured side. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now the markers do great on either side. I really love the markers, especially the gold ones on black. I think that just looks stunning. But today we're using gel pens, so I'm going to have it right on the smoother side of my cardstock. So we're just going to place this on our mat. You can use a brayer to smooth it down. And then we're going to put this in our machine and I'll show you how to load the pens. So our first pen is our pink pen. So we're going to take the lid off and then we're going to open up clamp A. And you'll notice this picture of a pen tip here. Some of the pens and markers have arrows on them instead. We're just going to slide that right in here and it's going to click. And that either arrow or pen mark is going to be covered. It's going to be right about the top there. And then we're just going to shut clamp A. And also because we are cutting with this project as well, you'll want to make sure that you do have your blade in your machine. And then we're just going to slide our mat in and click on the flashing buttons. Cricut Design Space will prompt you when it's time to switch out the pens. So it's prompting us right now to switch out our pink one for our blue pen. So we're going to open up clamp A I like to put my finger right on top of this edge so I'm not just yanking out my pen or marker so I'm not damaging my machine. So I just put my finger here and then gently pull up my pen and we can put the lid back on that one. And then we can grab our blue pen, take the lid off. And one thing I didn't mention before, but you might wanna do if you haven't used your pens or markers in a while, especially with the gel pens, is grab a scrap piece of paper and just scribble on it just to make sure the ink is flowing in your pen. Then go ahead and pop your pen or marker back in. I also like to put my finger at the bottom when I'm pressing down on my pen just to give my compartments on my machine a little more stability so I'm not breaking any of the mechanisms on my machine. Let's close up clamp A and click our flashing button once again. Design Space will continue to prompt you uh, when to switch out each pen.
So here are our drawings that were drawn with the Cricut Opaque markers, which I absolutely love. So let's take our designs off the mat by flipping our mat upside down and gently peeling our mat off our cardstock. And here they are. Here are a few other designs I did. This Mandela was a lot of fun. It looks super cute. So one thing to know when looking for designs and if you wanna use a lot of colors, make sure it has a lot of layers. So look for something like a 3D Mandela or layered Mandela and you can get these really fun designs. So these are just a lot of fun to make and you can add them to cards or you can make bookmarks with them or anything you want. You can make little ornaments maybe. And here is a little card I made. This one I had my Cricut draw out the outline of this design and I colored this in freehand. And one thing you'll notice is I did do these pens on the rough side of the cardstock. And so it is slightly bumpy, but it still looks great and it's a cute little Easter card. I hope you have fun learning how to draw with the Cricut pens and markers today. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below in the comments and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.